I've made well over 30 videos about this 1920s house renovation and there's one comment that keeps on coming up again and again and that is what is in the old shed and today we're going to find out It's suddenly gone like mega sunny, so apologies if I'm a bit overexposed. But I thought today would be the perfect day. We're in a little bit of a lull with the renovation. We're waiting on final permissions to go ahead so that we can start on the extension. Other than that, the main renovation, as you've probably seen, is all kind of done. I don't think we'll ever get to the point that we've literally run out of jobs to do, but you know, we've got a little bit of room in the skip and we've kind of been waiting to demolish a shed as one of those like kind of really nice jobs that I want to savour and enjoy doing. I didn't want to be rushed to do it. I didn't want to order a skip specially for it. As I say, we've got a little bit of room in the skip that we've got. So perfect time for doing it now while we're in this kind of uh, limbo between phases of our renovation project. So this old shed is exactly how we found it when we bought the property and it hasn't been touched in i would say 20 to 30 years i mean it's all rotten the the timber's literally just rotting away at the bottom there the shed itself i mean the roof and everything is is missing and it's got stuff in it that i mean look at this down here there's some sort of looks like a, an old stove or something i'm not entirely sure there might be nothing in this of any interest but as I say, it's one of those jobs that I've been really looking forward to. When you're doing a renovation, you get your kind of, you get your jobs that you quite enjoy doing. Like I really enjoy doing all the woodworking type jobs and electrics and plumbing and stuff like that. I really enjoy. I can't stand doing things like painting and decorating and, uh, well, I don't mind it too much, but after one room, I kind of get bored of it. Uh, things like sanding and prep work. Uh, stuff under the floors all of that is just a bit of a nightmare so you kind of get that balance of, of your fun jobs and your not so fun jobs and every now and then there's a job that you're really really looking forward to doing and probably the two jobs on this renovation that I've been really looking forward to are seeing what's in the shed and demolishing it and clearing a, another section of garden out and the other job that I'm really looking forward to is taking the panels off the internal doors and seeing what the doors are like. But that's going to have to wait for a little while because we've got far too many more urgent jobs to do. I am going to have to be a little bit careful because I can see like broken glass and stuff. Obviously, this has had windows at some point and all the windows are broken. So I'm going to have to be a little bit careful. Wouldn't surprise me if there's something living in here. We've got like, what's that? An old barrel? by the looks of it. We'll see, if there's wood worth keeping for, for firewood, then we will. I'm not sure if it's gonna be worth doing anything with this wood, uh, because it's probably treated, so it'll probably not be particularly great as firewood, so that'll probably go on a skip. It's not in good enough condition to keep, really. It's most of it, I mean, look, it's all full of like woodworm and insect damage. I mean, that's just falling to bits. But um, if there's anything worth keeping, we'll keep it. Uh, not sure what's this. Uh, not entirely sure what that is. We've got what looks like an old deck chair at the back there. Um, yeah, let's put some gloves on and start ripping this to bits.
enjoyed the story so far. I've got a lot of very, very rotten wood pulled out. Really nothing you can do with any of this. You can't even burn it. It's, it's too rotten. And over here, look at this. I've got an original deck chair. Do you think that's worth keeping? I'm not sure. I've seen better days. A lot more rotten wood full of really sharp, rusty nails. There's a lot of glass and things. I'm trying to take the glass and put it to one side straight away just so I don't accidentally cut myself or anything. In the shed itself, so far, <laughs> this is just what happens when nature takes over, folks. There's just nothing left. I mean, I don't know what this was. Some sort of um, chipboard related thing. It is absolutely wood lice central, by the way. There's a few things like old saws and stuff. I don't know. I'll put all these to one side and I'll show you anything that hasn't literally disintegrated. I'll put to one side and I'll show you all of it. We have got this kind of stovey thing, which uh, if you can tell us anything about that, then please do. I know nothing about stoves, but generally everything has disintegrated. I mean, even you look at this chair, for example, and uh, it looks like a fairly innocuous chair until you touch it. <laughs> I need to put a glove on for this. You touch it and it's literally like something out of Indiana Jones. Just everything in it is just crawling. Let's leave it for a minute and you'll start to see everything's just moving. It's totally like Just nature, isn't it? Got some sort of old leather by the looks. I don't know what that's made of. Some sort of coal scuttle. Even uh, this old oak barrel. Even that's disintegrated. Even, even that's not worth keeping. Absolutely dead. We've got an old, old pot of rusty nails. Need any nails? Even that's disintegrated. What about this? <gasps> old petrol can, that's like. I wonder how old that is. But that's quite old. Put that to one side. Tool bag. Anyone need a tool bag? Uh, I don't know what Some sort of old saw or something. I'm not keeping this, it's just a kind of... Most of this is so far gone that I can't even work out what it is. But it's the odd thing that I'll... Just to show you everything, once I'm all done, show you everything that I've found. But it's to the point that even plastics, even the plastics have disintegrated. Look, see that old plastic bag? So how long does it take for plastic to biodegrade? to that degree. So, yes, it does eventually degrade. <gasps> Got a lawnmower box. Wow, look at this. A super swift, super swift lawnmower box with, oh my goodness, I recognize that. Uh, it's a Qualcast, I know it's a Qualcast, a rotor mower or something? I can't remember. I remember those lawn mowers. I've got that. I'll put that to one side. Most of it's just junk, but we'll keep going. We're not at the bottom yet.
should be gone. That is us all done. And uh, what sort of treasures did we find? Well, I'll show you the treasure trove in a minute. Don't get your hopes built up. Probably the best thing that we got is a, a bunch of spare bricks. I can probably do something with that. Hello, Robin, you're following me around everywhere. How close can we get to the Robin? Not very close. It's been a positive treasure trove of bugs for the birds. I've ended up actually getting rid of the uh, Crocosmia. I know I was kind of waxing lyrical about that, but it is quite invasive and it tends to take over and I think it's just going to get on my nerves when I come to kind of mowing the grass around here once this grows up and we haven't really decided what we're doing here. This might end up being a vegetable patch for all we know at the moment. Um, I've kept some of the Crocosmia because I will probably plant it out. If you can let me know in the comments, how long can I leave it like that? It's like September at the minute. How long can I leave it like that before I have to kind of plant it in the ground? Can I just let the bulbs dry out completely and then plant them next year? Or do I need to get that planted this year? Also, I don't know if you remember, there was like a weird compost heap type thing here. Uh, I think there might be some sort of bumblebee nest in that because there's been a lot of bees around and uh, it looks like something else is living in that. So. That's a job for another day, not urgent. But I know you're dying to find out what we found in this shed, other than a lot of rotten Ming and old wood. So here we go, a whole lot of nothing, unfortunately. Start from over here, we have the original lawnmower, and of course we've got like the box that came with it as well. Too rusted to do anything with, no good for anything other than scrap. Even the uh, roller off the front just kind of disintegrated when I took it out. Uh, in case you're wondering about the missing handle, well, there it is there. So, uh, yeah, not fixing that. I've got some, oh, what are these? I don't know, old drain rods or something? They might be handy just for stakes in the ground when you're like marking stuff out and stuff. So I'll keep those to one side. That's vaguely useful, I suppose. Bunch of wheels, are they? Wheels off old golf trolleys? There's a lot of golf related stuff happens around here because we're right next to a golf course. And we did find some golf clubs. Look at this. <gasps> First golf club. Oh, that's my crowbar. That's not part of our find. Uh, yeah, first golf club ever invented by the looks of it. And there's a one here, it was missing missing the top, but I found it. Here we go. Uh, there was various things living in it. I don't think I can repair that. And we've got, uh, can't see the number on it. Again, golf related I think, this big pole thing with is this for like scooping golf balls out of rivers or something like that? I'm, I'm not entirely sure. Or maybe it's just like an egg cup holder for eggs that you want to be really far away. I found the original mallet. Not in the best of conditions. Don't think that's going to work very well. Oh. Hmm. Yeah, that's, that's broken. A pair of garden shears, look at that. <laughs> the only thing, we've got like something from the Grim Reaper uh, is here. And we've, the only thing that hadn't rusted is, is that off a washing machine? Like, I'm not sure. Uh, a whole lot of random stuff here, look at this. Are they old binoculars? And the rest of the binoculars have um, disintegrated, just leaving that one bit. I'm not entirely... Well, it's got water in it. That's nice. Coat hangers. You never know when you might need coat hangers. Not sure what this is. Any any ideas? It's kind of a red colour. It almost looks like the... Like a, a siren off a fire engine or something like that. A cup. Plastic cup. Found loads of these kind of weird glass things along with loads of like rusty metal shutter things I'm again pop in the comments if you know what they are there was loads of those uh, what else have we got I'll come back to the stovey thing in a minute uh, I kept these just because sometimes you can kind of date things from 
you know, this baby bio bag, nothing's got a date on it, so I can't really tell when the shed was last used. No dates on that, but I would imagine that's at least 20 years old. Actually, this thing, this whatever it is, something to do with the fire, I think, I think it's made out of plywood, which is interesting that that didn't rot and everything else did. We've got the random metal saw things that I showed you before. The only thing I'm going to keep, I quite like this petrol can. So as a little kind of memento of our shed, I'm going to keep that and clean it up. That's the only thing I'm keeping. Got a saw, a very nice saw, high quality look. Oh, yeah, that's not great. Another saw, pretty much pretty much uh, dead. Lots of wire. That's my watering can, didn't find that. And another, another rotten saw. And then, as I say, we've got this stove and I'll tell you right now, I'm not keeping it. It's unbelievably heavy and uh, it's too, every part of it is rusted up and broken. But I did think it was quite an interesting find. We've got all these original kind of bits of it, but the weird thing is this, this. That's like a plastic material in that, so what's going on there? Surely stoves of this age wouldn't have had... Well, why would it have plastic? Why would it have like a plastic thing? Answers in the comments, folks. No idea. Bit of an odd one. Cast iron by the looks of it. Very heavy. But that's all the original bits of it and whatnot, but it's all so seized up. It's really not worth keeping. It's uh, destined for the scrapyard, I think. What's this little bit? I presume that's off it. What does that say? YouTube. No? What does it say? Can't read it. Doubt. Doubt. Literally no idea what that says. Doubtilia? Cautilia. <laughs> The bricks that were the kind of foundations of the shed, they're all Hotspur bricks, which as far as I'm aware, Hotspur stopped making bricks in the mid 1960s. So the shed would have to be from that era or before for these bricks to get underneath it. Some of the bricks are quite clean and quite good condition. I might and actually end up using them as part of the renovation because we do need matching bricks for a couple of little bits and these are imperial bricks, so different size to your bog standard bricks that you buy these days. So they'll match in quite nicely if any of them are worth cleaning up. I did find this, which was quite interesting. This is like an original nameplate of the shed. This was above the front door of the shed. Uh, home built. So can anyone date this shed? I had a quick look online and I could only find one very old picture of a factory that used to make timber products, so I presume that's what this was. So it's a home-built shed. It says Bladen, and the number, what's the number? I can't actually read the number. 3882, so Bladen 3882 was their phone number. Back in the days when the only number that used to give people was four digits. Bladen, by the way, famous from the Bladen races and whatnot, it's a town south of the river, just outside Newcastle, on the Gateshead side. So yeah, there you go. Home built Bladen. Can you date the shed from that? I'm thinking early 60s or something like that, but I could be wrong. I'm glad we made use of the skip because it's absolutely full to the brim now. That was a lot of junk came out of that shed. A lot more than I was expecting, but that's at least clear now. As I say, not the best treasure trove that I've ever found. No bags of money, unfortunately, but if there had been bags of money in there, they would have disintegrated. Anyway, for now, I hope you enjoyed that. Don't forget to hit subscribe if you want to join us on our 1920s renovation project that we're doing here. If you have enjoyed it, do give the video a quick like and thumbs up because that is always a useful thing to do to keep the algorithm happy. For now, folks, take care. I shall see you next time. Tatty bye.